Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and if you celebrate, happy Christmas Eve. <laughs> so today I've got, a, I think it's going to be a shorter video. I have my subscription yarn from Thrifts for the December box and my usual openings I've been doing. So let's start with the stitch markers from Ellie Leva's Crafts and More. This is her holiday set, her Christmas set. We've got days 23 and 24, and tomorrow we will see day 25. What? Spoiler alert, I'm filming it right after this and then preloading it. That, that it's going to be a very short video tomorrow, so. Because we're going to be spending time with the families, right? Oh, this is very beautiful. It is a, um, it's covered with like embedded rhinestones and it's green red and white with kind of a white base and then it's got green beads on the top and bottom it's a very sparkly very pretty very christmas ornamenty and i love it anything that sparkles and now we've got day 24 there we go oh, stuck stuck where is it there we go Oh, that's cute. It is a Christmas tree. So it's got green beads and then a clear white bead. A It's an enameled um, painted Christmas tree with green tree and a yellow star. Look at how cute. Don't flip on me. Don't flip on me. I knew you were going to start doing that camera battery. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to be right back. And I am back. Fresh battery. So we can see day 24 of the Ginger Snap Yarn Advent Calendar. This is the final mini, and then tomorrow we're going to see the Big Hank. So let's see. What is our prediction? I can tell you. I can kind of see through here. I think it's red, but it actually looks kind of brownish through the tissue paper. So I think we're going to have more red moments. Let's see. Oh, that is a gorgeous red. It's got some sequins stuck to it from the tissue paper. But, so there, there isn't any sparkle. Any sparkle is sequins from the tissue paper. That is so beautiful. This is my favorite color red. This deep, dark, kind of cranberry, deep, 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 super dark red. Um, in the camera, it's looking more yellow based actually to me it is definitely a blue based red that is amazing oh it's so gorgeous oh that's pretty oh so now i have completely no idea whatsoever what the next what the full hank is gonna be i'm gonna guess We've been kind of firmly in the red camp, but something tells me it's going to have some variegation. I don't feel like the main Hank is going to be just one solid tonal. You know what I mean? So let's pull out all of our 24 and I'll show you. It's beautiful. It is so pretty. Okay, so we start with the icy blues move into some purples and here's where I was thinking oh maybe we're gonna have kind of a sugar plum fairy feeling and then boom we get these greens and then move into these beautiful blues you're gonna see some yellow oh nope I got it to fall off and then you got some blues the blues fade into these reds and oh my goodness oh my goodness that is so cool okay I am so excited to see what tomorrow holds. So I did say we had the Thriss opening, but I also got a... I don't think you could have possibly seen. I've also got a Christmas card. So I don't care about my address. It's just my P.O. box. Um, but I don't want to be revealing anybody else's addresses. So this says it's from Miss Sarah Nichol. Let's see. Oh, Merry Christmas. It's got a fun Santa Claus on it. That's so cool. And wishing you a fun-filled Christmas. You know it. Oh, thank 
thank you thank you sarah and absolutely sending all holiday festive cheer and merriment your way thank you thank you i appreciate it at least that time i know i was holding up the stamp side so no addresses <laughs> so now we have the thrift yard and i have to make um a little confession I did get a little bit of a sneak peek so I knew from her talking that it would have sparkle but I don't look I turn my phone over when she shows the sample skeins which I think she showed one this time so one, a couple times maybe she just described it um but um my bag came broken open so this is what I saw so you have the same experience oh it's my PO box but now I won't show where she ships it from. So here's my bag. Came popped open. But I am very glad that the post office didn't try to tape it or anything. Because you know they would put tape on the beautiful yarn. And that would break my heart. So there is that. So I know it's got that beautiful dark blue in it. Let's see what the rest has. Let's see it in its full beautiful glory. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, there's a card in here. Let's grab the card first. Today's prayer. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. That's a very sweet thank you, Chris. And then we've got the yarn. So make sure I get it in one good hand. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, and you're getting the sparkle, too. You're seeing sparkle. Oh, look at that. This deep midnight navy and kind of going into this beautiful royal. Oh, man. Oh, that is gorgeous. So I got the two hanks of fingering. Um, she puts out her video on around the first of the month telling you the details of the month and then you send her the the payment and she sends you the yarn and that's how it works it's one skein is $25 or one hank $25 which includes shipping within the United States she does ship internationally but you're gonna have to contact her for that pricing um two hanks are $45 including US shipping again same thing that applies this is called silent night it is 75% superwash, 75 superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% stellina, and these are each 100 grams and 437 yards. And I got the two stitch markers, which are made by Miss D from D's Creative Hands. I am laughing because I got a Santa Claus rubber ducky, which we know Thrus loves her rubber duckies, and a beautiful Christmas tree stitch marker. D does just a fantastic job on these stitch markers. They are wonderful. I will admit, I keep them with the yarn, though. So I figure I will use them on the project I use the yarn with. Oh, this is beautiful. With that sparkle, this is screaming shawl. That has to be a shawl. I think. I said the same thing with the Victorian era one. I wanted to do a shawl. I mean, maybe fingering weight, my mind just always goes to shawls or socks. And this is definitely, even though it's got the nylon and it's plied, um, I do not think you would use socks for this. I mean, come on, you want this to shine. You don't want this hidden in your shoes under your pants. No, this has to be out and be seen. And oh, that is so pretty. I know, I'm just staring at it and not letting you guys see. It is stunning. It is like the midnight sky. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh man, Thriss. Thriss girl. Oh. Thank you so much for sharing your talents with us. Just thank you. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go stare at this a little while longer and dream about what it might end up becoming. Let me know if you have any thoughts or ideas. I am love, love your pattern suggestions. I love them. Oh, I have a giant stack of patterns that I've printed off 
the printer and I keep forgetting to show during the weekly roundup because I think the weekly roundup has been extending a little bit too long and here I am blabbering extending this video when it doesn't have to be okay <laughs> I am going to talk to you later again full disclosure I'm filming Christmas's video tomorrow's video right after this same clothes same everything just scheduling it using the magic of the interwebs to see you tomorrow even though I'll be having a magical day with the kiddos have a wonderful day. I will see you later. Bye. Hi, a little addendum. I was cleaning up after and I picked this up and it was heavy. There were also some really fun um, candies. They're green and white. I'm going to assume they're kind of a spearmint candy included in my thrift bag. So just wanted to let everybody know since there was the hole in the bag that I got my candy and I am very, very happy with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to go. Bye.